I believe it's more common in patients who have had previous lumbar spine fusions, especially more distal fusions to the sacrum or pelvis. The patient's pelvis has been asymmetrically loaded, such as if they're turning around, let's say, to look in their rear view mirror as someone rear ends their car. And that's a common scenario um, where the pelvis is asymmetrically loaded, and I've done some surgeries on those patients. Uh, I have not experienced any patients postpartum uh, in my practice, but I know that's been reported in the literature due to some uh, elastin or elasticity of the joint uh, where it doesn't fully close following uh, delivery uh, uh, vaginally. We have seen some cases uh, of scoliosis above this that have caused uh, asymmetric loading of the sacroiliac joint. And we've just seen some de novo cases of patients with repetitive trauma or sports activities such as golfing, where they've had a lot of torsional activities that's resulted in asymmetric loading of the sacroiliac joints.